We are talking chess this morning. It's one of those games all ages can play, but it can be intimidating as a beginner, especially if you're coming at it as an adult, or maybe you're just looking to level up your skills over the holiday, crush some family members with a little friendly competition. Either way, we've got the guy who knows all the things. You might know him online as Gotham Chess. His real name is Levy Rosman. He's an international master, a top chess teacher, and he's got a brand new book out. You're looking at it right now, How to Win at Chess chess. Levy, it's great to have you in studio. Welcome. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Super excited to be here. So I've, I've learned that when you were little, your parents were trying to decide after school activities for you, as we do as parents. And your dad was leaning towards art classes. Your mom was leaning towards chess. And clearly one kind of one over the other one. What is it about chess that you love so much? How old were you when you started playing? Yeah, it was about five or six. And wow. it was uh, actually technically they both won. They, they, they agreed to disagree. They put me in both and said, we'll see what happens. Uh, and I was crazy as a child, so they thought that I would just get kicked out of chess class. But I would go to chess class every day, and I would hide in the playground tubes to avoid going to art class. Wow. So, so I they don't know. knew. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what happened, uh, but chess really stuck. I guess it was something about beating adults intellectually, like dominating massive humans when I was five or six years old in something like this. When you say you were wild, like your brain could just be going like crazy to figure out all the moves. Yeah, or I could pick up a rock and throw it. So like, I, it, it was like- <laughs> One or <laughs> yes, the other. Like you didn't know which one was going, but this, I was locked in on the on the chessboard, so. Okay, so there are four key areas to consider when you're playing chess, and I'm yes. saying this like I know, but I really don't. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong. We've got openings, we have endings, tactics, and strategy. That's perfect, yeah. Okay, great, so I sound like an expert yes. already. We're gonna focus on the opening moves yes. first. So what should we not do? as a beginner? Uh, well, you shouldn't weaken your king. Uh, the fastest way to lose a chess game is in two moves. Okay. Uh, so if we demo it on the board, it, yeah, would let's be, do it. it would be, you know, with white, you shouldn't move your F and G pawns. There's okay. actually no coordinates on this board, but with, when, you know, with white, you start on ranks one and two. You'll notice that this entire diagonal <gasps> is wide open. open. And so obviously you don't get two moves in a row, but. This is it's called fool's mate, I think, and this is because you know you're a fool because you lost in two moves. But we learn this first, and then we learn what how to actually play. And rather than doing it this, you'll you'll notice that black moved the center pawn two squares. That's what white should do. Okay. Right? Like this is center center pawn two squares. Yes. So this, if I'm if I'm um, learning correctly, so this would be a. Yes. A1. So a b c d e. And then this is two, so yeah. this this guy here at e two, we move up two. Yes, is okay. that you know e four? If you want, you know you can you can also do the queen spawn, right? You can okay. you can move the queen spawn two squares. That is also fine. Uh, as we start leveling up, you can also control the center with your knight instead. Ooh. See, like you don't always have to move your center pawns, but we're gonna we're gonna get to that, you know, after after we get fifty or hundred <laughs> games under our belt with the center pawns, because if if you leave kind of if you leave beginners unattended. They'll do some create, you know. They'll do some ridiculous opening, and then they don't control the center. And you should control the center. It's just a good way to start the game. Um, it's funny because in the book, openings are chapter two. Chapter one is how to literally win at chess. Because I thought I should really tell people why they're even here. Totally. Yeah, like from here, it's very difficult to actually win a game. I mean, you can try to go for these quick checkmates, but if they know what they're doing, then. Yeah, it's a long battle. A long battle. Well, and it's such a mental game. There's so much strategy, not only in figuring out your own moves, but you have to like anticipate what your opponent is going to do. Yes. Do you have any tips on how to train your brain to think ahead and see those moves like four, five, six down the road? Yeah, uh, I definitely do. I will say that it, it sounds really, really sophisticated. How do we mind read each other five, six moves ahead? I mean, in a sport, you, you know the goal. The, the goal is to put the ball in the, in, in the basket or, or the puck in the net since I'm in Canada, right? Like it's, <laughs> um, here, it's a lot of pattern recognition. So when you're a beginner, an intermediate player, even an advanced player, a lot of the time, if you have an idea or two, you've got to think for the opponent, do they have any way to attack my king? Hmm. Do they have any way to attack any of my pieces? Uh, do they have a way to create some danger and, and potentially have some combination? If all of that has been answered as a no, that's even more difficult because then it becomes things like, is that square weak? <laughs> like, is, is this side of the board exploitable five moves down the line? And then you have an idea, you say, okay, yeah, that's correct. And then you play it and it was completely wrong and you blundered checkmate on the other side of the board and then you throw your phone. So like that is the experience of playing chess is just learning from mistakes constantly. It's actually why adults struggle actually to learn it more than kids. Wow, well, Levy, listen, it's fascinating. I'm glad you're in studio today and I'm real glad you chose chess. Well, thank you.
Yeah, well, thank you. A reminder, uh, Levy's book is called How to Win at Chess. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.